drag from it to here. Let's do, we're going to put this in a navigation controller, so we'll push. Okay, here's our thing. We need a nice name for our segue here. We'll call this display photo. Oops. Display photo, we can call it again anything we want. Let's put this stuff all in a navigation controller, embed in navigation controller. So we have a nice UI here, really with almost no work for us uh, to develop. Let's, while we're here, let's go ahead and call this one Shutterbug. Um, we will set the title of this one based on the title of the photo. So all we need to do to make a segue work is what? Prepare for segue. So let's go back and do prepare for segue. It's actually commented out down here. It back in, and all the only trick we need to know here is that we need to get the index path from this sender, which is the table view cell that was clicked on. So let's do that. NS index path, index path equals self dot table view. Remember, all table view controllers have this table view uh, property that you can use to get this stuff. And I want index path for cell sender. Okay, so now I have this index path. If I want to be really safe, I could say if index path. That way, if somehow this sender, uh, you know, I could really even be super safe and say if sender is kind of class UI table view cell class. Okay. Some people are really want to be careful about you know using ID and they want to use introspection, and I certainly appreciate why you want to do that. Sometimes it's better to let your app just crash. <laughs> when you do that, you find the bugs faster sometimes. Or in some of these ifs, you want to put else log a, you know, an internal error or something like that. But anyway, we got this index path. It's not nil, so we were able to find this table view cell in this table view. So that's good. We're off to a good start. Let's see if this is the display photo. Segue. Okay. If it is, let's see if the segue destination view controller is kind of class, that image view controller class, because that's what we need it to be, image view controller. Right? So if it is an image view controller class, uh, then we are good to go. Kind of got everything we need at this point. And I'm actually going to create a little helper method here, which is uh, prepare image view controller image view controller uh, to display photo in this dictionary photo. So this is just going to be something, a uh, little helper thing that does the actual preparation. And this is really easy, ivc.imageurl, remember that from Imaginarium, right? That's what the image view controller's public API is. We need to get the URL for this photo, and it turns out Flickr Fetcher can help us with that too. Flickr Fetcher, there's a thing called URL for photo, okay? And we just give it the photo dictionary, and it uses stuff inside the dictionary to get the URL. And we can pick what format we want, and I'm going to uh, pick the large format. Uh, the choices there are large, original, or um, square. Square is like a thumbnail, really small, so only use that if you need just a thumbnail, which you don't need for this uh, assignment. And original is high res, and then large, it's kind of a good size, like 1024 by 768 or something like that. And then I told you also I'm going to set the title of this thing to be the photo value for key path Flickr photo title. Okay, so I'm going to set the title of that image view controller as well. Okay, so now let's call this little helper thing prepare image view controller. The image view controller is segue.destinationViewController to display photo. The photo is self.photos index path dot row. Everyone understand that? Okay, I'm just reaching into my model here at this index path that was the sender. All right, so let's see if this works. Again, this is blocking our main thread here, which is a bummer. You know how to not do that. So here we have, now we're in a, a UI navigation control. That's cool, we got that. Let's go ahead and click on something that hopefully is innocuous. <laughs> here it is. Um, and uh, we can zoom in and out. That's cool, all right? We could go back and click on something else. Another Rome picture. I'll just call CM. Okay. Uh, hopefully things are work here too. 
So that's pretty cool. That was pretty easy to get a pretty powerful app together. We did it in about 20 minutes. Um, so now let's do this on iPad. Okay? This turns out to be quite easy as well. So we're going to go to the iPad storyboard. I'm actually going to move the iPad storyboard up near the iPhone storyboard. So it's blank right now. And I'm going to drag out a split view controller. So here it is right here. Now this will not be in this list if this is not an iPad storyboard. So sometimes you have your iPhone one and there's no split view controller. You're like, what? where's the split view controller? Okay, you got to be selected your iPad one. So I'm going to bring this out. Here's the split view controller. Notice it gave me these for free. Um, I got what I paid for, which is I don't want either of these things. Okay, so I want my master in my iPad one to be this right here. Okay this Shutterbug list, and I want my detail to be that image view, right? So I'm just going to select all and copy here and go over to my iPad storyboard and paste, okay? Puts them in here. Kind of makes a bit of a mess of it, but let's move around here. So here, this is the same thing. Doesn't look the same because the sizes are different, but it's the same thing we had. Um, and I'm just going to make this, these two be the master by control dragging from my split view controller over here. And I can pick master or detail. I'll take master. And then I'm going to control drag from here over to this guy and make that the detail. Okay, so now I've got master and detail, exactly what I want. So I'm going to have a split view that has a little narrow thing on the left, which is the list of photos, and the big space is going to be the photo that I chose. I got one slight problem here though, which is this little segue is still here. So when I click on things here, it's going to try and replace this little view controller with this, and I don't want that. So I'm going to delete this segue. Okay? Now that gives me what I want, but now the problem is if I click in here, it's not going to update this. So how do I do that? That's doing with that delegate method did select row at index path. So we're just going to go back to here. Um, and we're going to have another, a new pragma here, panther pragma, mark, UI, table, view, delegate, not data source, but delegate. And we're going to type here and start typing, and you can see there's a lot of UI, table, view, delegates, okay? So we want the one right here. See, it did select row and index path, right? We want that one. And uh, here, what we need to do is get the detail in the split view controller. And I told you that that is, the detail view controller is self dot split view controller dot view controllers sub one. Okay, and again, if we're not in a split view, because this code is going to be executed on the iPhone as well. And if we're not in a split view, this is going to be nil. So this whole thing is going to be nil. So this is going to do nothing because this is going to be nil. So this is great code. I didn't have to say if iPad or anything. It's just this is only going to happen if I'm in a split view controller. So I'm going to be a little you know, wor you know, worried here, and I'm going to say is kind of class, and make sure that that's an image view controller. Okay, but if it is, then I'm just going to call my prepare image controller thing down here. And this is going to be the detail. And the photo is going to be self.photos index path dot row. Okay, because it gives me the index path that got selected. All right, so that's all that needs to happen here. So let's just go ahead and run this. Oops, no, let's run it on an iPad. How about that? Eh, we'll run it on the real device. How about? Okay, so again, it blocked until it had loaded that thing, which is unfortunate. That thing is spinning. I don't really like that because I haven't picked a photo yet. So I'm just going to quickly, before I even forget, go back to my iPad storyboard. And only in my iPad storyboard, not in the other one. Okay, I'm going to pick that activity view controller, which is right here. And I'm going to inspect it. And I'm going to not start it out animating. It's still going to do it in my other one, which is okay because that's creating a new view controller every time I segue but not uh, in this one. But hopefully, if I click on a picture, like Rome here, it loads up Rome. And so here's Rome. I can zoom in. If I pick another picture, let's say Barclay Center. That looks OK, I guess. Uh, this worked. It's kind of um, a little off. You'll see there's the white at the top. That's not really quite right. And this white on the left, do you see the white on the left? What's going on with the white on the left? Why is this happening? Well, 
we didn't design our image view controller that well to be reused like this. This image view controller is staying on screen all the time and being reused. And it has a couple of bugs in it that are causing when I zoom in and then I replace it with another photo, first of all, it's not resetting the zoom scale back down to one, which it should, but also it's sizing to fit and causing it to no longer be in the upper left hand corner of our scrollable area. So let's fix that real quick. Let's go to our image view controller. Those are easy fixes. Every time we set an image, we're going to take our scroll view and reset its zoom scale back to one. And instead of just doing size to fit right here, we're going to explicitly set the image views frame to a rectangle that we're going to make, which is at the origin and is the images size.width and the images size.height. Okay, so that will fix that bug. We don't want size to fit anymore because we're doing this is a sizing it to fit essentially. So we fix that bug. That's nice. The other thing that's not so great about this is it'd be nice to have a title on the top. We set the title, but it doesn't appear anywhere on the detail side, right? So it'd be nice if we had a title just like on the, this side over here, the shutter, that says Shutterbug at the top. It'd be nice if it said Jake at the Breakers over here on the right, okay? So how are we gonna do that? I'm gonna do that with that little trick I told you. I'm just gonna go here to my iPad storyboard, okay? And I'm gonna pick this detail view, and I'm just gonna embed it in a navigation controller. Okay, and that's just going to fix that problem. So let's go ahead and run. We fixed three problems there. Let's make sure all these problems actually got fixed. And you're going to see that we fixed them, but we introduced a problem as well. Okay, so we have this. Oh, this is better. We've got this space on the top right there. Hopefully when we click on something like Rome or free tickets, we'll get, oh, it's not working anymore. Why is it not putting anything on the right? And the reason for that is we changed the detail to not be an image view controller. Instead, it's now a navigation controller. So our code over here, where we update with did select row and index path, it's checking if detail is kind of class image view controller. And that's failing, because it's not. But this is an easy fix as well. We're just going to say if the detail is kind of class UI navigation controller, so if it's a UI navigation controller in the detail, then the detail is really the UI navigation controller detail dot view controllers first object. In other words, the root view controller in the navigation controller. So I'm just, if, I, if the detail is a navigation controller, I'm just going to look in and get its root view controller instead. Okay? So, fixes that problem. Hopefully. Okay, so let's try Rome again. Oh, now we got the title Rome up there at the top. Okay, even if we zoom in on this and switch to another one that's different, it went back to zoom scale one and we don't have white on the left edge, right? So even if, again, we'll make it really small this time. We'll click to Newport, Rhode Island here. Okay, it went back to zoom scale of one with no white. So we fixed all of our problems. We didn't have that uh, circ 